Today in Philadelphia, SneakerCon. It's a convention to show off what's new and what's hot in the sneaker world. But today, in a twist, former President Donald Trump showed up. NBC10 political reporter Lauren Make joins us in the newsroom. Lauren, you were there as well. Tell us more. Yeah, Tracy, this was not your typical campaign stop. It was part political stop, part sales stop. And I'm not talking about selling a candidate. The former president introduced a new line of sneakers today at this sneaker themed event. He held up gold sneakers in front of a screen that showed a web address for Trump sneakers. On that site, on that site, sneakers were selling for $199 to $399, and there was also Trump-themed cologne for sale. Now, Trump today, talking about the sneaker line, said he had wanted to do this for years. This does come today, the day after a judge issued a more than $300 and $50 million judgment against the former president in a civil fraud trial. Now, Trump only spoke today for about five minutes or so, much shorter than we usually see. Here's part of what he told the crowd and what I heard from people there. What's the most important thing? To go out and vote, right? We have to go out and vote. We got to get young people out to vote. And you're going to vote, and we're going to turn this thing around. This country's not doing so well. We're going to turn this country around fast. We're going to turn it around fast. And we're going to remember the young people, and we're going to remember Sneaker Con. You know that. We're going to remember the young people, the young people especially that wear sneakers, right? Former President Donald Trump showing up here. What do you think about that? Uh, I love it. I love he's trying to get in touch with the youth. Um, he's trying to get some young voters. I personally support him. You guys vote in the 2020 election? Yes. Who did you vote for? I actually voted for Donald Trump in the 2020 election. You did? So, so he could get you back again? He could. He could. Former President Trump uh, came here to talk to folks. What do you think about the fact that he came here to talk to folks here today? Honestly, mm -hmm. uh, I think it was a waste of time. Why? Um, this is not a political event. Um, and this is not a political arena. And sometimes folks get caught up in the moment and don't understand the bigger picture. And I think for someone who's running for president, they need to be a little more serious about what the issues are and what it is that we're trying to accomplish. Now, the Biden campaign is responding to the former president's visit here to Philadelphia today, sending me this statement from the Biden campaign communications director saying, quote, Donald Trump showing up to hawk bootleg off whites is the closest he'll get to any Air Force Ones ever again for the rest of his life, end quote. Well, former President Trump announced his visit to SneakerCon on social media yesterday. But, you know, it came as a surprise to folks here who I talked to who are supporters and Republican Party insiders. They didn't know that it was happening till he announced it yesterday, <laughs> Tracy. Lauren, you said at the beginning of your report, not your typical campaign event. You cover political rallies all the time. What made this one just so different? Yeah, Tracy, this was one of the more unusual candidate appearances that I have been to. Uh, first of all, the stage was set up inside the sneaker con hall. So he was essentially speaking to that entire event, uh, at least those who could hear him. It wasn't like a candidate's own rally where it's just filled with people who already support you or who might support you. Um, when he came out, people had their phones up. They were really interested to see him come out. But you could hear a mixed reaction inside from the crowd. You may have been, been able to hear that while he was speaking on that tape. But uh, obviously he was introducing those sneakers. But we will also now see whether this has any political impact. Trump himself today saying it was a different audience than he was used to, but that he loved that audience. Tracy, back to you. More to come.